Yes, my dear friends, good afternoon, each and everyone. This is Raghavendra Salaga from Appa Public School. In the previous class, we have discussed some of the points regarding the metals and non metals. What are those points? When metals react with oxygen, when metals react with oxygen, it forms metallic oxide. Okay, next, when metals react with the water, it forms respective hydroxide. When metals react with <coughs> acids, metallic salt, and Water, sorry, hydrogen gas. You get next when metals like basis into the salt and hydrogen gas. These are the points we have discussed in the last class. Okay, today we are going to discuss the displacement reaction. Okay, displacement reaction. We will discuss about the displacement reaction. Displacement reaction. Okay, what is meant by displacement reaction? Isn't it? Here on activity is there. Through that activity, we will discuss regarding this reaction. What is meant by displacement reaction? So first of all, in uh, this activity, so first you have to take the one beaker and mention this beaker A. Next, beaker B, C, D, beaker E. Okay, these are the five beakers are there, isn't it? Okay, the beaker A, beaker B, C, D, E, total five beakers are there. In the first beaker, what happened? Let us see that. I am going to add in the first beaker copper plus, sorry, here. Copper sulfate CuSO4 plus zinc. Clear? Copper sulfate plus zinc. I am going to add in this beaker A. Beaker A contain copper sulfate plus zinc. That end. Isn't it? So beaker A. Next beaker B. Same. Copper sulfate plus Fe. <clears throat> so instead of zinc, we have to clear. Isn't it? So you feel it means iron we have to. Next, <coughs> same way you have to take the iron plus copper sulfate. Iron plus copper sulfate in this beaker. Next, zinc plus copper sulfate. Zinc plus copper sulfate. Next, sorry, little bit wrong happen here. In beaker C, FeSO4 plus copper. In beaker D, ZnSO4 plus copper. Beaker E, that is ZnSO4 plus iron. These are the five reactions. Please focus on this. Okay. First reaction that is copper sulfate plus zinc. Second reaction copper sulfate plus iron. Third reaction iron sulfate plus copper. Fourth reaction zinc sulfate plus copper. Fifth reaction zinc sulfate plus iron. So let us see that. Let us see that. In which beaker reaction takes place? In which beaker reaction takes place? Isn't it? You have to focus. After a few minutes, you can observe the all the beakers. What are the changes takes place in the beakers? Okay. So my dear friends, only in the two beakers, only in the two beakers changes takes place. Only in the two beakers changes take place. It turns into zinc sulfate plus Copper, it turns into iron sulfate plus copper, 
and here no change no reaction takes place no reaction takes place isn't it no reaction takes place here <coughs> bigger c bigger d bigger e okay in the these three because reaction will not take place why will not take place what is the reason for this what is the main reason what is the scientific reason behind this what is because containing iron sulfate zinc sulfate and uh, zinc sulfate iron why reaction not takes place yes my dear students very simple here we have to focus on that so zinc is more reactive zinc is more reactive than iron iron is more reactive than copper so this is the main reason so zinc is more reactive than iron iron is more reactive than copper it means so in the beaker a beaker b only reaction takes place rest of the beakers no reaction nuclear takes place listen here my dear students here iron sulfate is there here here iron sulfate is there so any of iron is the reactive metal iron is the reactive metal compared to the copper iron is the reactive metal compared to the copper it means iron is more reactive than copper hence copper does not displace the iron here it should be remember right so copper does not uh, displace the iron so no reaction takes place next in the d bitter here zinc is more reactive zinc is more reactive okay and copper is very less reactive then the reaction take will not take place and in the last uh, zinc is more reactive than iron zinc is more reactive than iron that is why i written this reaction okay this zinc is more reactive next iron next copper so this we should be remember isn't it yes this is about what regarding the displacement reaction okay i am coming to the definition of the displacement reaction what is mean by displacement my dear students more reactive metals more reactive metals zinc and iron they are very reactive metals they can displace is the less reactive metals copper copper is a less reactive metals okay and the copper it can displaces from its salt solution this is is a is a salt solution then the reaction is called displacement okay on this uh, reaction only we are going to just the reactive with the series of the metals reactive with the series means which is the highest reactive in nature which is the second highest in nature okay reactive with the series we are going to write on this reaction only displacement reaction only okay hope point is clear my dear students i repeat this Uh, uh, displacement reaction in the beaker A. What is that? Copper sulfate plus zinc. Beaker B. Copper sulfate plus iron. Beaker C. Iron sulfate plus copper. Beaker D. Zinc sulfate plus copper. Beaker E. Zinc sulfate plus iron. Total five beakers are there. So in five beakers, what happen, my dear friends? Here uh, only in two re uh, beakers reactions are take place, and rest of the beakers no reaction. takes place is it reaction will not takes place hope point is clear is it yes here zinc is more reactive than second iron is reactive the last least reactive is copper among these three element of zinc is a more reactive iron is a little bit of next least reactive is copper so this is called displacement of reaction is it so this is called displacement reaction you should be remember this one i repeat the definition of the displacement reaction my dear students more reactive metals displaces the less reactive metals clear more reactive metals displaces the less reactive metals you should be remember this one this is called displacement reaction i hope point is clear yes after this next concept that is uses of metals and non metals uses of metals and non metals
uses of metals and non metals right so here metals this is metals we will discuss this say non metals uses uses right so first point here in case of metals my dear students metals are used in electrical wires electrical wires used in electrical wires you know where is specially copper and aluminum copper and aluminum these are the two metals we are going to use in the preparation of the electrical wires i think you observe main poles are there no and these wires are aluminum and copper wires small wires are bunch of wires are there no this is copper wires small wires i think in your room is there are you observe that isn't it yes next uh, second point that is okay utensils you know very well in your home so many utensils are there utensils are there so many utensils are there okay for cooking purpose for making tea purpose something you are doing in our home medicines so especially again copper copper vessels are there copper utensils are there aluminum utensils are there next one more is there that is iron also we are going to use iron vessels are iron utensils also are there we are going to use in the earlier days we were using iron pots iron pots even uh, uh, copper pots also right now still we are using copper pots still we are using okay iron vessels are iron vessels we are minimizing but instead of that we are using aluminum and uh, some of the alloys for vessels or utensils we are going to use is it right? next uh, third point in case of galvanization galvanization means it is a process in which deposition of good quality metal over the low quality metal it is a process in which it is a process in which deposition of good quality metal over the low quality metal here especially zinc we are going to use galvanized okay galvanized isn't it so we are going to deposit yes next uh, fourth one in case of electroplating in case of electroplating isn't it so electroplating means again same like galvanization only so in electroplating we are going to use the chromium iron and nickel these are the two metals we are going to use in case of electroplating chromium and nickel okay these are the metals we are going to coat over the some of the metals which is required and uh, zinc chromium nickel these are the costliest methods uh, costliest uh, metals and we cannot purchase these and everything but instead of that we are going to coat it coat it okay i think you observe the jewelry next point is what a okay jewelry i think you observe is it if you observe so especially here we are going to use silver gold platinum okay these are the metals we are going to use to prepare some ornaments is it it yes utensils galvanization electroplating next uh, in case of construction of buildings bridge bridges buildings bridges so many things roads also we are making the roads you should be remember this one yes next in case of aeroplanes especially in case of aeroplanes we are going to use aluminum aluminum especially in case of aeroplanes we are going to use aluminum metal okay space crafts are there some materials are there we are going to prepare by using the aluminum which one aeroplanes and not only that even trains machines 
okay so many machines are there industries are there okay so many devices are there we are going to use the metals okay so these are the uses of metals isn't it you, you can use uh, already you you people are using the metals daily without the okay electrical wire daily electrical utensils next galvanization metal, metals are there already you are electroplating next jewelry uh, ornaments okay so these are the points you should be remember building construction of the buildings machines industries okay and uh, especially mercury yes see so this is used in a thermometer thermometer right this is used in thermometer it should be remember is it yes next after this uh, uses of uh, non metals uses of non metals let us see that okay first point metals are used for the preparation of fertilizers fertilizers so right now farmers they are using the fertilizer artificial fiber fertilizers for the better growth of the plants or crops they are using the fertilizer urea okay and dap i think some of the names of the fertilizer you have heard so fertilizers artificially prepared so naturally occurring there is secondary thing but here yeah, by the help of non metals we are going to prepare the fertilizers especially we are going to use for the preparation of the fertilizers okay nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium so these are the metals we are going to use NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus. Next, potassium. Last one. Okay, these are the metals, non-metals, are metals also we are going to use. Especially nitrogen and phosphorus. These are the metals, and even metals also we are going to use for the preparation of the fertilizer. Right? Yes. Next, in case of refrigerants. Refrigerant. okay in case of refrigerant so liquid nitrogen liquid nitrogen we are going to use it maintain the cold liquid nitrogen earlier this we were using the ammonia ammonia we were using but right now we are using the liquid nitrogen like right now we are using the liquid nitrogen next sir match box you know where your match box each and every home this match box must and should be required without this we can match box it should be remember okay especially in here phosphorus we are going to use a phosphorus it is a non metal it is a non metal we are going to use for the preparation of the match box or match stick is a so match box next uh, after this uh, fourth one my dear friends pencils i think you people are using the pencils okay so pencil also prepared by using the non metals especially graphite graphite is a non metal so this is used for the preparation of the pencils graphite you know very well graphite it is a non metal and of course it is prepared by carbon also carbon is a non metal isn't it yes next uh, after this fifth one that is in case of preparation of rubber tires rubber tires okay rubber tires especially in the preparation tires and rubber there is a non metal sulfur symbol is yes there is a non metal sulfur rubber tires you should be remember this one rubber and tires isn't it so this sulfur is also prepared and sulfur is also used for the preparation of the rubber and as well as tires vehicles tires we are going to use for the preparation of the tires and the tires are used for the vehicles you know very well this one isn't it yes you should be remember this one next after this 
purification of the water purification of water okay especially here potash alum is the name of the chemical potash alum is the name of the chemical which is used for the purification of the water it means if we use the potash alum inside the water most of the germs it means microorganism disease causing microorganism will die it means we are going to purify the water by the help of non metals by the help of non metals we are going to uh, we are going to uh, purify the water is it and one more powder is there bleaching powder i think you heard it bleaching powder that is also prepared by the help of non metals only that powder also we are going to use for the preparation of for the purification of water it should be remember purification isn't it so water get polluted that polluted water we have to purify it and some of the metals non metals we are going to use for the purification of the water isn't it yes next uh, breathing breathing specially breathing purpose you know very well breathing isn't it you know very well breathing process o2 oxygen we are going to use for the breathing purpose inhalation 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 and exhalation exhalation means carbon dioxide will come out carbon dioxide will come out inhalation means inhalation means taking oxygen inside the body taking oxygen inside the body that is called inhalation is it next eighth one that is antiseptic solutions antiseptic solutions are the creams solutions are creams antiseptic especially okay antiseptic or antibiotic in case of medicine also in case of medicine also we are going to use the non metals for the preparation of the medicines antiseptic solutions antibiotic tablets we are going to use antibiotic means uh, uh, these are the tablets they can kill the disease causing microorganisms okay uh, of course they are giving in the form of tablets and some of the solutions also are there i think you have heard about the vaccinations okay you people are they heard about the vaccination so it is about what regarding the antiseptic it means uh, uh, if we got hurt something happened means we are the best example detol detol you know you already know this detol is the antiseptic solution there we are going to use okay phosphorus we are going to use sulfur we are going to use for the preparation of antiseptic solution i you can check the detol water Okay, you can check the detol water, and that detol water they are written antiseptic. It means if you got hurt, you can apply that a solution, medicines, nothing will happen to us. Okay, if you got hurt more, then you have to take the definitely uh, one septic injections from the doctor side. Okay, TT injection they are going to call TT injections. Is that it? Yes. Whole point is clear. This is about the regarding the metals and. non metals is it yes my lesson is it is completely regarding the metals what we have discussed one more point is the alloys one more point is the alloys i will explain within 2 minutes so uses of metals and non metals please focus on this so first one in case of metals electrical wires and utensils and for galvanization and for electro plating then in case of jewelry next uh, Building constructions and all aeroplanes, and in case of thermometers, bridges, building machines, industries, factories, okay, vehicles, bus, train, anyone you have to take, isn't it? So all are prepared by using the metals only. Next, non-metals, materials, fertilizers, especially fertilizer, nitrogen, phosphorus, uh, and it is a metal. Actually, potassium is a metal. Uh, in case of refrigerator also we are going to use which uh, that is nitro liquid nitrogen we are going to use this one liquid nitrogen 
Next matchbox. In case of matchbox, you know, where a red color is there, that is a matchbox. So in case of matchstick, we are going to use a phosphorus. Next pencils. Then you are going to write the pencils. So especially from the craft work, we are going to prepare. Isn't it? Next rubber tires. Rubber. Okay, you know where the rubbers are there, and tires also prepared by the help of non-metal, especially sulfur here. Sulfur. Isn't it? Next up towards purification of the water. Next breathing. So these are the uses of metals and non-metals. Before this, we have discussed about the displacement reaction. What is meant by displacement reaction? Means, uh, my dear friends, uh, the more reactive metals displaces the less reactive metals. More reactive metals displaces the less reactive metals. Isn't it? So, last concept that is alloys. Next, alloys. Okay, alloys means here metal plus metal are non metals. Also, we are going to use here metals plus metals are non metals. So, these you will get the one mixture. You'll get the one mixture, you know, mixture, right? You know, mixture. It means there is a combination of metals and metals, or metals and non metals. Metals and non metals, you will get the one mixture that is called alloys. So, example for the alloys, you can get the magnet, next, dura aluminium. Dura aluminium, okay, magnet, dura aluminium, next bronze, 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 okay, so these are the some of the alloys. Alloys, why we are going to prepare the alloys means uh, to minimize the rusting of metal, rusting of metals. Okay, to minimize the rusting of metals. I think uh, you have observed in uh, Delhi, one pillar is the iron pillar in Delhi. Okay, I think you heard about the iron pillar, more than six ton. More than six ton will be there. And uh, in the year of 1600, 16,000, okay, in the year of this, they have prepared, yet not rust, yet not rust. Think about the quality of paint, how they have paint. 16th century means uh, more than 400, 500 years old. Nothing will happen to this. Nothing will happen. More than 500 years over away, nothing will happen to it. Still it is proper, still it is shining, still it is strong, still it is strong. Okay, why we are going to use this is uh, to increase the strength of the metals. To increase the strength of the metals or quality of the metals, that is why we are going to use the uh, alloys. Isn't it? You should be remember this one. Yes, and second point is to avoid the rusting of iron. To avoid the rusting of iron. Isn't it? So, this is your lesson, metals and non-metals, co point is clear, my dear if anybody has a doubt, confusion and all, you should ask me in a yes, without fail, I will clear your doubts without fail, right, and uh, you should get ready with your doubts, please note down your doubts, what you have to ask in the FCC, okay, in a pace, you get ready, so you can ask, and whatever created doubts in your mind, at the same time, you can ask me doubt also. I am going to clear your doubts. Hope point is clear. Okay, guys, take care. Bye. See you.